Uh, well, hello everyone. My name is Diego Ruiz. I work with Thomas at BX. Uh, I'm going to talk to you today about the community plugins we have developed in the recent years. Uh, Thomas already talked about the Mapbox plugin. Uh, I'm not going to go too much into detail with that. I will try to answer uh, Norbert, Norbert's questions better. Uh, so a brief outline about my presentation. I will try to present the problem that we got and why we decided to develop another plugin, uh, the objectives, and then some technical aspects about it. Uh, so we created a plugin named OmniSearch plugin. We all know that IdemPure is really powerful, but the documents are, there are a lot of documents in the system. Sometimes we know we, we got an idea that we saw that word, a keyword somewhere, but we don't remember where, and we have to go through sales order, invoice, invoice customers, trying to find a single record. So how did we decide to solve this problem? Uh, we created a dashboard panel where we try to create a universal search box that can search across different documents. And so I'm going to show you a bit how it works. So, so when I log in as a client, uh, for example, I, I know I got an export document somewhere. Then I look for export and it brings me sales order, invoices, or any document that I have configured uh, where the word export is present. Also, I can go farther and ask for any document where Joe is the business partner. So I get a list of, of the documents. So in this case, purchase orders, invoice vendors, and everything. I, from these results, I can click and zoom, zoom to that document and yeah, work on it. Uh, when the list is too long, I get uh, pages here, and I can navigate as the, in a normal item pair window. Uh, I can use everything that this uses uh, full text search by Postgres. So I can create, uh, syn this is the syntax for everything that starts with Dell. So it brings, for example, delivery in this case. Uh, you can find all the syntax in the full text search documentation website. Uh, so this is basically the idea. How do you configure that? There's a, when you install the plugin, there's a new flag in the column uh, tab that says full text search. When you click that, uh, it automatically goes to the index. So, yeah. Uh, how does it work? Uh, in the plugin, it first creates a document. A document is the unit of searching in full text search in Postgres. Uh, then it creates an index, so to optimize the search. It uses, a, the document uses a special data type called TS vector. It is optimized for searches, so that's why it is so fast. And then in the plugin, we create this query for the search. So uh, this is our document. Uh, this is our document. This is a TS vector column. And then in, it parses the query. This is a Postgres native function. And that's, yeah, that's about it. What are the known limitations? Uh, ranking can be done in the plugin, but after trying, what I've learned is just Google is the only one who can do it right. <laughs> uh, you can work on it by giving weights to special 
uh, columns or values, but it's really hard to configure and it depends on every implementation. So it's, it cannot be done by the plugin, it has to be done in, the, in each database. And it works only for Postgres because it's, it's a Postgres native functionality. Uh, this is now the technical aspect. Uh, this is for both the map plugin and the search plugin. We develop it and design it in a way that we have two plugins actually. Uh, there's a definition plugin. In the case of the OmniSearch before, that plugin creates, for example, the configuration window where you get all the data. It doesn't matter if you use Google Maps or Mapbox or Graphhopper. Almost every API map uses the same input as the data. So we define the input in the definition plugin, same with the OmniSearch. And then we have another implementation plugin that extends that one. So the first one consists basically of interfaces, abstract classes, and very, spec very specific processes that should be universal regardless of the technology we decide to use. Uh, and then when you want to create another plugin, for example, our map solution works with the Mapbox API. But if you want to use Google Maps instead of Mapbox, it's just a matter of creating your plugin and, and uh, extending it like a normal o OSGI service. Like we do with model factories, like we do with callout factories, it's, it works exactly the same. Uh, for both the map and the OmniSearch. In this, with this in mind, then we invite the community and everyone to improve further so we can use tools like Lucene or NoSQL databases. The, the, interface is, the interfaces are already there, it's just about implementing the specific technology the technology specific components to the ones to the plugins extending those definition plugins. Uh, I want to show, for example, answering Norbert's question. Uh, when you set the content in the form, you have a a method called get HTML code. That's what I meant. The, the map that is shown there is just an HTML. The component is an iframe. So you can actually create a client side uh, app or whatever and call with web services to this class and you will get an HTML code that you can then show without needing to be in Edenpeer. You get the HTML and then you display it on the website. You don't need to, you need to log in through the web services but you don't need an Eden Pure client per se in your customer. That's done here. Then, as I show you, this this does not use a yeah like a technology specific. It's just an interface. Then it's easier to call from web services. It's easier to extend, and then you can use it like hopefully everywhere the yeah the omni search works exactly the same uh, as I said it uses now full text search uh, we decided to use that tool because of the it was easier because most of the implementations are already running on Postgres you don't have to install anything new it works out of the box you just need to install the plugin and it just works and yeah <laughs> do you have any questions or yeah for the data types uh, it only supports strings or can you also search for numeric fields uh, in in this uh, only search box yeah. here you you can check any type of uh, column and when it is created uh, Postgres will convert 
it either a numeric field or the string field to a TS vector. But you can choose any type of. What I show you from Joel is actually a, the ID field, so it is numeric, mm -hmm. the business partner. Okay. Yeah. Another question. Yep. Normally, you have roles uh, with different access to different documents. This omni search is done in re with regard to these restrictions. So the person who only has access to sales orders uh, is not capable of seeing like invoices uh, in this omni search box. It is filtered by client and organization. Uh, I think it will be able to see the result, but not uh, not soon. Zoom in. Yeah, no. that will be disabled in that case. Uh, any other questions? For showing the user has access, and if not, see. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> so did you see any? Um, performance issues. I, I see that you are managing the one with indexes, which should help a lot. But I'm, I'm just thinking if you have any other recommendations during the implementation, <coughs> because this one is really taking a lot of information. If you are just looking for a big database or something like that. So anything to have in mind? No, the, the, when you install the plugin, it creates a gene index. Mm -hmm. But the plugin takes care of that. That should be enough. Uh, are there any more questions? <coughs> <Nope>. <laughs> then that's it. <laughs> Thank you for your attention. <laughs>